ng like, share, and subscribe para laging updated sa Good day, learners. I am Teacher Ananin, your Science 5 teacher. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me. Today, we are going to talk about how light interacts with different materials. At the end of this video lesson, grade 5 learners are expected to relate the ability of the materials to block, absorb, or transmit light to its use. In the previous lesson, you have learned that conductors are the materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through easily, while insulators are the materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. Try to answer this activity. Analyze its picture. Write C if the object is conductor and I if it is an insulator. Rubber. Very good. The answer is I. Copper. Very good. The answer is C. Wood. Very good. The answer is I. Gold. Very good. The answer is C. Glass. Perfect. The answer is I. It is good to know that you've learned a lot from our past lesson. Now, you are more than ready for our next topic. Grade 5 learners, have you seen an aquarium? Look at the picture. What can you say about it? What kind of materials used in making aquarium? Why? Can you see the fish inside the aquarium if it's not made of glass? The aquarium is made up of a clear glass for us to see the fish inside. The light that is visible to the human eye and responsible for our sense of sight is called visible light. Our primary source of light is sun. The visible light allows us to see the color that is not absorbed by the object. For example, you see most plants as green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except for green. To understand light further, you have to learn how light interacts with different objects. This branch of science is optics. So, this scientific study of light and how it interacts with different objects is called optics. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes from one material, from one transparent substance, into another. For example, a pencil in a glass of water appears bent because of a change in the material that interacts with air, while the part of the pencil deep in water interacts with water. The speed of light is faster in air and slower in water. This is why the pencil looks dead. Reflection. So reflection refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat surfaces like mirrors reflect light in a straight, predictable way. Some objects with an even surfaces like rocks reflect light in a scattered way. Absorption. Absorption refers to a material taking in of light and not reflecting it back. For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. 
Transmission refers to passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. Different materials have different ways of transmitting light. Transparent materials allow all light to pass through them. Clear plastic and glass windows are examples of transparent objects. Translucent materials allow some light to pass through them. Stained glasses and frosted windows are examples of translucent objects. Opaque materials do not allow light to pass through them. Concrete walls and wooden doors are examples of opaque objects. Let's try to answer learning task number one. Directions. Describe the characteristics of materials based from their behavior to light. Check the columns that describe what happens to light. Let's check. Glass. The light is being transmitted by the glass. Ball. The light is being blocked by the ball. Black shirt. The light is being absorbed by the black shirt. Book. The light is being blocked by the book. Water. Water. The light is being transmitted by the water. Okay. Let us try to answer learning task number two. Directions. Identify the following objects as transparent, translucent, or opaque. Write your answers on the space provided. Let us check. Okay. Blackboard. The answer is opaque. Cardboard. The answer is opaque. Clear plastic cover. The answer is transparent. Roasted door. The answer is translucent. Green bottle. The answer is translucent. Magnifying lens. The answer is transparent. Reading glasses. The answer is transparent. Rubber tire. The answer is opaque. Tinted glasses. The answer is translucent. And yellow cellophane, the answer is translucent. Now, to check your understanding about the lesson, you are going to match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. Write the letter of your answer in your science notebook. Let's check your answer. Number one, the correct answer is letter B. Number two, the correct answer is letter D. Number three, the correct answer is letter A. Number four, the answer is letter C. And number five, the correct answer is letter E. Thank you, grade 5 learners, and have a good day. Goodbye, stay home, stop the spread.